wanted to touch base with the God already. It's already starting. Um, I just wanted to touch base with you guys and talk to you a little bit about a little bit about. Oh wow! Okay, let's stop this right now. <laughs> this is called Ocean. Hello Yarna Bees! It is Sandy and today I wanted to talk to you about a few things that are going on and this is take three so <laughs> I'm really hoping <laughs> that I can get this done. Holy man, there's something in the air or something. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I just put out my new pattern. It is called, whoops, where's the front? <laughs> it is called Oceans Away. There you go. And um, it is a free tutorial. Uh, I will have a paid pattern uh, on my Etsy page, which will probably be down here somewhere or down in the description box below. Yes, I have an Etsy page. <laughs> Uh, so for all of you new people, um, I have an Etsy page and I have a merchandise page and I have um, an Amazon affiliate link with all the things that I love down below. On that note, uh, my merchandise page is through Teesprings. But I just found a new website called T-Chip. They have different stuff. So I'm really excited about that. I just signed up. I'm just in the process of getting my shop set up. But they have jewelry. They have bedding. They have like tons of different things that I can design. Yay. Wow. Are you hearing that? Do you hear that? I need some hand cream. Holy, that's like sandpaper. That's just, ooh, okay, we'll just do this. <laughs> wow, that's embarrassing. Okay, so I'm in the process of getting that together. And when I do, I will let you know, I'm hoping to get something up there uh, by tonight and then hopefully have it launched by tomorrow. Okay, so there'll be mugs and bags and jewelry and like lots of different cool things. So anyway, so there's that. Um, okay, got my little checklist. That's done, that's done. Um, I wanted to send out some love to a couple of people. One is Jackie from um, Hooked in Good Company. She is really sick right now. She has pneumonia and uh, she's, oh, she's just not, not well, not well at all. And um, I told her to go to bed and get some rest because she's really bummed. So let's go over to her, her channel and give her some yarny love, okay? Her link will be down below. She's such a sweetheart. I love her to death. She's, um, <laughs> like the rest of us, she's a yarnaholic. Yes, she loves her yarn. And she has two homes in two different parts of the world that she gets to store all her yarn in. How cool is that? The only bad thing is, is that if you want one yarn that's at one house and you're at the other house, then it really sucks. <laughs> so, anyways, I'm really hoping that you get better, sweetheart. Um, take care of yourself, okay? Because we've only got one body, you know, and uh, we, uh, here's me talking. <laughs> My body's breaking all over the place. But anyway, um, yeah, so take care. Have some soup. Put your feet up. You know, relax. Okay? I love you. Okay? Um, I got 
a surprise little package in my mailbox. And I'm not talking about my my post office box. I'm talking about my actual mail, house mail, which really surprised me. <laughs> but it's from Lisa at Lisa's Crochet. And I know what this is, I bet, because I am seeing everybody in their channel getting this package. And I am so excited. I kept saying to myself, I hope I get it. I hope I get it. I hope I get it. Right? Because, I mean, this is like the one of the best kinds of gifts. Okay? So let's open it together. She's got... Oh, cover up. She's got a little... Little smiley face there. I was really hoping I was going to get one. <laughs> so there's the card, the butterflies. Dear Sandy, just a small note to let you know I enjoy watching your videos. Thanks for being such a great friend. Hope you like the Remembrance Day poppy I made. Love Lisa, Lisa's crochet. I have been seeing these going around to different channels and I was going Lisa better be sending me one she made these poppies and she did a brilliant job like these are so adorable I love this so much look at that and she's a new crocheter Pfft, yeah right she did perfect like perfect I just love it. <laughs> I am going to, like she was suggesting, the Remembrance Day poppies that you get from um, all the veterans and taking it, sticking it in here would add a little extra something to her poppy. I think that's a brilliant idea. I am going to go up today and I'm going to go and buy one and, or donate and get one. But I just love this. I think it's the most adorable thing ever. So what I might end up doing is making a hat for me and putting it on the hat. This would even make a great headband. Put it on a headband, put it on there. Oh, that would look so adorable. Oh, so then you can wear it all year, right? Like that is so cool. So I think that's what I'm going to do with this because I want to be able to wear this all the time because she made it with so much love and care. And I think it's brilliant. I think it's so brilliant. I tried making poppies. It was a disaster. And I've been crocheting for like 10 years. So she's been cro crocheting since last January, I think it is. She has gone in leaps and bounds. She has crocheted things that I would never touch because I'm just a scaredy cat that way. For me, it's, you know, easy and quick and, you know, simple patterns for me. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah, a little embarrassed to say that, but, you know. Um, so anyways, I, I am totally in love with this. I thank you so much, Lisa. This just warms my heart so much. And uh, I am going to, I'll show you what I make and what I attach it to. Okay? Because, I mean, if I was making like a hat and I put that on a hat ugh, or a headband, or, I, I don't know yet. I, I'm so excited. I got to, I got to think on this. Okay? So, mwah. Thank you. I love you. I love you. I love you. You are an awesome, awesome sis. And uh, you're just great. You're just great. You and Steven. I just love you guys to bits. And we are going to meet soon one day. One day soon. Okay? So there's that. So get ready, honey. <laughs> okay. Um, what else did I want to talk about? Oh. Um, this, this is, uh, the Bag o Day cowl. I didn't put the fringe on this one. Uh, and this is made from, I'm going to say ice yarns 
um, rainbow. I'm going to say that. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But anyway. <laughs> pretty. It's bright. It's very bright. Yes. I very, I, much, I very much like it. Yes. Okay. Jeez, you'd think I'd been drinking or something today. I just can't seem to get this video out for my life. Anyway, so I've been watching a lot of videos in the last few days. I tell you, trying to get this pattern out. Oh. I videotaped it yesterday while George was watching football. And, of course, being the man he is, he gets right into football. Like, right into it. Like, he's talking to the TV. He's yelling at the TV. He's cussing and swearing. And I don't have a door on this room. I asked for, for a door for Christmas. Can you believe that? I said, hey, Santa, I need a new door for this room. Because I need animals out and I need George out. <laughs> so... Hopefully I'll get a door for Christmas. <laughs> um, but anyways, I, I, so I, I had a lot of editing to do on this video. And it wasn't just because of him. Um, I don't know what, it, what was up with me yesterday, but I felt like I had to explain everything to the nth degree. Like everything. Like 10 minutes about one stitch. It was ridiculous. It's not, I mean, I, I'm sure I'm going to have beginners getting this pattern, but this is like an intermediate kind of pattern. So I felt like I needed to explain the death out of it. And so I had so much editing to do. I did this video at like 10 o'clock or 1030 in the morning. It took me until 1 p.m. last night or 1 a.m., sorry, last night to get it finished. I wanted to just throw the whole computer out the window. I was so angry. So on my next tutorial, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to assume that everybody knows how to crochet. <laughs> and that, um, you know, on the tougher stitches, like the, you know, double crochet in the third loop kind of stuff, maybe I'll... I don't know, do a separate video on it or something. I don't know. But yeah, I just tried to do the front post, back post. I was trying to just explain the crap out of it. It was stupid. So <laughs> that was like, I just was pulling my hair out. But anyway, um, so I'm not going to do that again. Uh, I'm just going to do your basic, you know, this is the stitch you do. This is how you do it. Boom, done. Because <laughs> that was just like, I think I got a few, few gray hairs on that one. So anyways, so go check it out and, uh, and, you know, go on my Facebook page, um, Crochet A Canada Facebook page and show me some pictures of the hats that you do. Okay. Something I didn't put in the pattern I don't think if I remember correctly. I should know it back to front back to front there we go again <sighs> front fr oh I should have put it in there but I don't think I did this is a four weight yarn you can use any four weight yarn four, four weight yarn holy Hannah I need to get off this this video and just go chill or something have another coffee or Maybe put some Baileys in my coffee. Baileys. Ha! <laughs> my dog's name is Bailey, right? <laughs> yeah. We don't be needing that. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to go now. So, <laughs> there's something in the air. <laughs> okay. I'm sure there's probably something I forgot to talk to you guys about. And, yeah. Yeah, I can't think of it. So, um, okay. So, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lisa, for this. Mm, I just love it. And I will let you know what I make. And uh, I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Oh, I know what I can make. Oh, yes. I know what I'm going to make. Ah, yes. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. 